Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. I'm going to The Guardian, where they say the Paradise Papers leak reveals secrets of the world's elite's hidden wealth. A lot of offshore activity, we all know it. We know that the control freaks utilize this to skirt their tax obligation, because I mean, let's be real folks, taxes, they only apply to uh, certain people. A lot of people say, well, you know, the rich pay, what, uh, 60, 70% of the income tax. Well, that's pretty damn sad when you look at all the stuff they don't pay. You know, think about it. If they paid proportionally what we pay as a middle class person, then guess what? I'm sure we would have a lot less trouble with this national debt. Now, I'm not a big fan of the income tax. Personally, I think we should do away with it. There's absolutely no place in this country for the income tax. It was unconstitutional. It's been ruled unconstitutional because the way that it's collected is unconstitutional. It was not passed correctly, meaning that constitutional amendments were fraudulent, the states did not ratify the income tax, and the Supreme Court in the 1920s identified that it was not properly ratified and it was unconstitutional. Yet today, they still get us to pay that income tax by duping us into signing a contract. It's an invisible contract. There is no law in the books that requires us to pay income tax. For most people. Some people you have to. Most, technically you don't have to. But try fighting Mordor, who has deep, 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 endless pockets that will stop at nothing to put tax dissenters into prison. Because God forbid the truth get out and people find out that they don't actually have to pay. Well, the, tr the, the truth is... If you got it like that, you really don't have to pay until you get caught. And apparently that's exactly what's happening here. So a lot of these people have been outed. This project called the Paradise Papers, which was a bunch of journalists that got together um, and basically outed this with the cooperation of the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists along with The Guardian, the BBC, and the New York Times. Now, this is some of the highlights of the Paradise Papers. I'm going to boil it down quick and easy for you. It says, millions of pounds from the Queen's private estate has been invested in the Cayman Islands Fund, and some of her money went to a retailer accused of exploiting poor families and vulnerable people. It says, extensive offshore dealings by Donald Trump's cabinet members, advisors, and donors include substantial payments from a firm co-owned by Vladimir Putin's son-in-law to a shipping group of the U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Now, to me, that's kind of a stretch. You know, if you're trying to tie the Russians into it, who gives a crap? We're a global economy now. Let's get real. But when you're trying to skirt something, and hey, you know what? Should the prevailing attitude be, well, if you can get away with it, fine. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, I know I pay income tax, and that pisses me off that these people do that. Think about this. Warren Buffett was floored when he found out how much his secretary had to pay in income tax because she paid more than he did. Warren Buffett. It's nuts. They also exposed how Twitter and Facebook received hundreds of millions of dollars in investments that can be traced back to Russian state financial institutions. The tax-avoiding Cayman Islands Trust, managed by the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's chief money man, a previously unknown $450 million offshore trust that has sheltered the wealth of Lord Ashcroft. The Paradise Papers also expose aggressive tax avoidance by multinational corporations, including Nike and Apple, and how some of the biggest names in film and TV industries protect their wealth with an array of offshore schemes, and the billions in taxpayer refunds by the Isle of Man and Malta to owners of private jets and luxury yachts. 
Also, it exposes a secret loan and alliance used by the London-listed multinational Glencore in its efforts to secure lucrative mining rights in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Also, the complex offshore webs used by two billionaires to buy stakes in Arsenal and Everton football clubs. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You're talking about a 1.4 terabyte file, the world's second biggest data leak since the Panama Papers last year. So more corruption, more expose on the fact that the powers that shouldn't be, they don't, hey, look, taxes are not for them. Taxes are for us because the taxes are what keep us under the thumb of the powers that shouldn't be. It's quite simple. You know, we could do away with the income tax and have plenty of money. We could do with the uh, do away with the income tax tomorrow. You know, uh, Senator Paul and Ron Paul, Representative Ron Paul, for years have touted plans and ways to do away with the income tax. You do not need it to function. The best way, if you want to right the ship in this country, is to go back to basics. It's like they used to say in school: use the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. If you want to change things for the better in this country, we have to simplify things. And I'm not a proponent for simplifying the tax code. I'm a proponent of eliminating the tax code. You want to see a growth in this country like you've never seen before? Do away with the income tax. Do away with the income tax. Let people invest the money themselves the way that they see fit. You want a provision for your medical needs and care in your later years, take that into your own hands and establish some sort of plan to be able to get there by yourself using the money that would already be deducted from your paycheck and invest it yourself. You'll probably see a better rate of return and you'll be better prepared in the long run to weather the storm when you become an old fogey. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.